This policy has been to prioritize school aid above everything. Everything got cut so we could put more money into school aid. Do you support that policy, Assemblyman? I don't see that. You know, I did not, I did not want to get into this because, quite honestly, well, there was it's, no it's, way, it's, way, it's way, great way, to be into it. Because there is no he, the governor didn't cut a billion, fifty-seven billion. Excuse me, I'm going to state that there is no additional school aid in this budget. There is no additional school aid State funding. There is no additional state funding. Assemblyman, there is increased state funding for school districts. Mr. Commissioner, Mr. Commissioner, at the end of the day, I'm very clear. I think it's unfair for people to say that the governor is cutting. We've lost a billion dollars, a billion fifty-seven million in federal aid, and that hurts. But the governor, at a time when the deficit was, uh, the deficit the state was facing was huge, the governor cut other departments dramatically so he could close the deficit and come up with extra money for schools. That's if you did ev everything that the governor and the school uh, commissioner is talking about. And if you froze every single school teacher, that uh, dollar amount would still not be enough to cover the expenses to, of the loss of the school district. Uh, if districts are able to get a wage freeze, it makes it a lot easier for them because they won't have cost increases. Now, if, uh, if they have these cost increases and they don't have the money, the only thing they can do is lay people off. But if they don't have the cost increases, then they don't have to lay anyone off. So, yes, indeed, this will be a shift to local property taxes. Taxpayers, anyway, you look at it.